Hi, and welcome to Modern Papist. This is Ryan. Today I'm going to be going over a few things. The one question I'm really going to be hammering into is what is the status of Venerable Fulton Sheen's beatification? It's a really important question. Why? Because he was a great example of a bishop, of an archbishop. We've been waiting for the beatification because all the boxes are checked. Uh, he's done everything. You know, I say he is done, but <laughs> but like that's not entirely correct. The the beatification of Venerable Fulton Sheen was paused because because of the Rochester bishop saying that he could be linked to administrative problems given who he was in charge of at the time he was at Rochester, which according to the church has already had two investigations, at least from my understanding, an internal and an external one. The internal one, well, basically, you know, I was born in 87, so when I started to really pay attention to stuff in the church, it's kind of always been racked with sexual abuse, so it's not like I really trust the internal approach that much, even though I do highly respect Venerable Fulton Sheen. But the external, which has already happened, seems to have been done, and it doesn't seem to indicate anything problematic. According to the bishop in Rochester, there's, you know, this link, and so we need to wait for that potential link, if it does show up, to happen or not happen. Which, to me, is a very petty excuse for going through this process, because, again, we've, uh, we've already had those investigations. But they want to do another investigation. And so I'm at this page here, because I want to explain a few things. The first one is, according to the state of New York, the investigation is supposed to go until August 2021. So that's obviously passed because we're in January 2022. The Rochester Diocese filed bankruptcy in 2019. And because they filed bankruptcy in 2019, people who wanted to file a bankruptcy claim, so abuse victims who wanted to file a bankruptcy claim, could only do so until August 2020. And so they get basically a whole year off, which I guess I can understand from a particular perspective why they did that. I'm not going to justify the reasonings for it out of due justice. We're five months outside of the time that the State Department uh, in New York has you know, got all their information. Should we be expecting something soon? I would think so, uh, only because five months is a long time, and red tape does take a while, uh, and government is not known to be really fast at pretty much anything. You know, here we are just waiting. Uh, but we should ask the question, what's the goalpost? What are we waiting for? If there isn't an answer to that, if, if, it, if the report comes out and nothing's in there, does that mean Pope Francis is going to be like, Peoria, go ahead and do it? Like, or is it going to be like, you know, let's twiddle our thumbs and see if anybody notices? Rather, See if a large group of people notice, because people are going to notice. It's just whether or not we do something about it. Like you're dealing with process of how a saint is established in the church. If all the boxes are checked within the church, why are we waiting for external sources? Given this last year, in some areas, it almost seems like the state's in charge of our sacraments. If we're currently in that mindset, like that's a problem. Because the state's not in charge of our church. We have to get out of this mindset that if the church is doing something that the state doesn't like, too bad. <laughs> like, I don't, like, I mean, we're obviously not advocating anything negative. Just the fact that, like, you know, going to church shouldn't be a problem. Uh, but apparently in some dioceses, even today, that that's a problem. And some bishops just seem to want to be ahead of the curve in that way. But I, I digress. Venerable Fulton Sheen deserves to be recognized with a response. I'm not going to say he deserves to be the saint because I'm not God. I'm not the church. I'm going to pretend to be. I'm just saying there should be some goalpost that is identifiable that we understand. Given that, like I said, all of his boxes are checked. We were told we were going to have him as a, as a blessed and that just didn't happen. It was just canceled. And I'm going to do a self plug here. I, I don't typically do this, but... I did a video on Venerable Fulton Sheen's miracle attributed to him, and I go into detail using my expertise in statistics to compare studies that really show just how amazing that miracle is. And 
the first half of it is pretty dry because it's just about establishing what was going on. But it, it paints a really good picture as to why what happened was a miracle. Outside of the social media suggestion, my only advice for this is to please pray that God gives us an answer. If all the boxes being checked have been accurate, I don't see why he isn't blessed. You know, this is ultimately for God and the church to decide whether it's under this pope or another pope. I don't care because at the end of the day, this gives glory to God. It doesn't give glory to any pope. Keep that in mind. I know that's been an objection that's been going around, and I honestly don't think it's appropriate. Thanks for joining me. I hope you have a great day. Talk to you later.